One of my first sales jobs ever, I had a owner that was a former IBM executive. And he said, you got to find their buying rules. I'm like, what are you talking about buying rules? I know what a buying sign is. I'll jump on that in a minute. And he explained that it's their underlying core reason for the, for the, that they do everything that they do. And you got to find that. Once you find that, you know, you, you, you figured it out. Well, after years and years of studying personality profiles or love languages and NLP, you know, I finally got to understand, you know, when you figure out what whatever little thing that was, and you got to drill down, drill down, drill down, you know, going through Celebrate Recovery helped me figure it out for myself. And, but once you figure that out, then you get to understand why people do what they do, you know, um, selling chemicals for high Sierra chemicals. Nobody's beat us on price or quality product yet. If they're not buying from us, there's another reason, All right? There's a, there's a relationship with somebody who's got the, comp who's the competitor or, you know, there's, there's something, they just don't want to spend money, but they're going to spend it anyways. And they're going to spend more of it. They're just, you know, spend it with Sam's Club or Costco. The, you know, there's people that, that hoarders, you know, they, there's a hole they're trying to fill with all that junk that can only be filled by Jesus Christ, right? But they're going to hold on to some things, you know, and uh, for no apparent reason for anybody else, but they got their reason. It's important to them, but why? So you got to address that. And you got to be patient and figure that out. The, you know, Trans America's got this awesome promotion, this wealth and health community. Right? They're looking, targeting two kinds of people. The people that are really good savers, but they didn't take such good care of their health. They weren't fitness nuts. They were, they worked hard and they saved. But now that it's time for them to retire, they either can't go, they can't travel because of their health. Or if they do travel, they can't do cool stuff. They can't go scuba diving. They can't go hiking you know, around the, in the cool, in the jungle or wherever they want to go, you know, have their vacations at, you know, that they're, they've limited themselves because they didn't take care of themselves. Then there's other guys that took great care of themselves, but they didn't save their money. Okay. So they're trying to use this bulletin board with different categories like fitness, nutrition, debt management, budgeting, retirement, stress, okay, and sharing the knowledge with each other, one with the other, and to help everybody, you know, get this come to the same level. You know, the rising tide will raise all boats, right? But you got to be, you know, these guys in the gym, you know, they, they, they want to be in shape because they, they think it's important. It's part of their quality of life. You know, they want to be a ground for the grandkids. They want to reduce stress. They want to be functional, they want to be, they want to still feel young. And then they're doing the right thing, but they're always paying them. You know, some of them will work out as hard as professional athletes, but they don't, they're not getting paid for it. They don't have anybody, they got to make their money work for them, you know, while they're, while they're working. So when they stop working, they can still afford to go to the gym and pay for their supplements and, and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. They got to think about all that. But what they found out, well, these guys are working out. Why? Because they want to attract the, the pretty girls, right? Because what the pretty girls want to do. They want to look good for these, you know, awesome guys. And they're either in the beauty business, the hair business, the makeup business, or they go see a lot of them, right? And those women that are in that industry, hairdressers, they want to get out from behind the chair. They don't want to stand behind a chair the rest of their life. They make good money, but it's cash. They spend it as fast as they make it. There's no pension or 401k for hairdressers, okay? And if that pretty girl, you know, wants it, that motivated, in fit man will, will get it for him. And that is the way it works, okay? And those guys that, eh, yeah, they're good producers, all right? But their sweet wife, is, uh, you know, they can't, you know, concerned about their health, they might do a little bit more to get themselves in shape and, and, and be, get a better quality of life for both of them. You gotta, you know, it's all, you gotta figure out what their, 
what their rules are, why they do what they do.